I went down to uh, a flea market in Manhattan and started selling down there. While I was there though, I would see little bits of industrial popping up. A lamp, a table, a stool, a chair, whatever. And it uh, really caught my interest. So much so that I, you know, I felt an immediate attachment to it for some reason. I didn't only want to just buy it and sell it, I saw great potential in it. Especially in the cast iron pieces, machine bases, um, pieces that were used in heavy industry, I could see a great uh, potential in the castings, because I love the castings. Um, I think the process that they go through to make these castings is great. And uh, you know, they were made at a time when labor was cheap, but material was expensive, so they could afford to put a, a lot into the design and into the making of these pieces, which you don't really find now. It's just too expensive to do it. That really attracted me to um, something that was actually being uh, thrown into scrapyards, and it's a whole piece of America that was just being discarded. So that's why we called our company Get Back. You know, when people saw it initially and, and saw what we were doing, I think it had a, a similar reaction that I had. What is this? This is, you know, this is fabulous. Where'd you get this? It wasn't the usual antique that you would see, you know, because it wasn't classed as anything. It wasn't openly available on the antique market as antiques. I mean, it's not antiques. It's, we class it as vintage. And we like to use that term because we, anything we buy, we, we really like it to be at least 50 years old, preferably pre-Second World War. So it's not technically an antique, but it's a look that is just so, like, different. My whole idea in the beginning was I wanted it to be used. I wanted people to use this. So we always kept that in mind. We didn't want to present it just as art, you know, because we certainly could fill building after building after building. But, you know, so if we found tables, we wanted to present them as tables and we wanted to keep them as pure as possible to their original use. We do a tremendous amount of work with designers and architects and so forth. And, um, you know, I think this look is a piece of American industrial history that, that Absolutely, everybody should have one of these pieces in their home. Not only for its beauty and its functionality, just to be able to say, I have an original piece of American industrial history in my home that we still use today. I think that's brilliant. I think that's something that you pass on and pass on and pass on.